Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you had an extra pair of hands? I visited Dr. Aldo Faisal's Brain and Behaviour Lab in the departments of Computing and Bioengineering. He gave me a glimpse into the future and showed me what this world could be like. Since time immemorial, human imagination has sparked the idea of having additional arms. Think about the Hindu goddess Shiva, for example. Imagine you could do the dishes while taking a phone call or holding your baby and preparing the food at the same time because you have just that extra pair of hands attached to you. So we're talking really about how can we augment, extend the human body with additional limbs that are useful in daily life. Augmentation of the human body with an extra pair of limbs is technically feasible in terms of the robotics end of things, so we can mechanically attach these type of limbs. But the biggest challenge is that if you're controlling a third arm, you want it to be natural, seamless, and you don't want to think about it, just like you don't think about using and moving your hands and arms. And so we're using gaze-based technology. So we have technology that tracks the movement of our eyes, because how and where our eyes are looking at any given moment tells us a lot about what you want to do with your hands. And so we develop technology that decodes the intention of our actions from how we look at the world and then translates that into robotic movements. And that works so well and without any confusion or interference that we can actually paint in oil painting. Dr. Faisal's research group is part of the Imperial College London Robotics Forum, which is one of the largest robotics networks in Europe, consisting of 21 research groups. Sabine is a postgraduate in Dr. Faisal's group. She's one of the first to operate the eye control robot. So controlling this robot arm is really intuitive and easy. For example, if I want to draw a straight line, I simply look at the starting point and at the end point, and the robot moves the brush and uh, draws that line. And for example, if I want to um, pick a color, then I simply blink for three times. And after that, um, the robot moves the brush to the color, and I select the color by looking at it. So I can even mix colors if I want to, because there's no predefined movement or predefined motion. And then, after that, if I blink again for three times, I bring the robot back to the position such that it can draw again on the canvas. And it simply goes to where I'm looking at, which is a very intuitive system and easy to control. And similarly, I can also clean the brush if I want to. And after then, blinking again for three times, I move the robot again to a position such that it can draw on the canvas. And then I simply continue. 